Yo, what's going on YouTube, man? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Baby Rich. If you're not new, welcome back. Where you, Cal George? What up, Terry? What's going on, bro? Right, you man. doing all right, man? Chilling, man. What you know good, bro? All is well, man. All is well? Support. All is well and love is well. Good, I guess. Man, you know at the end of the day, the day got to end. Yeah, eventually. All right, I'm in the car right now. We, uh, we headed out right now. Hey, Moo, let me ask you something. I was on your Twitter. What do you mean by none of this shit matter for real when you think about it? What are you talking about? Just trying to get retweets, man. Oh, shit, my bad. Shit, maybe I need to do the same thing then. You said what? I don't do. You said I don't? I said nothing really doesn't matter. What you mean by that, though? Like, what you mean nothing matters? So you're saying anything we do right now, nothing matters? No. But it do, though. What matters is happiness. Being able to wake up every day and get a chance at life to experience something. You dropping the vlog don't matter. Me dropping the vlog don't matter because we're only doing it for one reason. No, it matters because it matters to them. Because they like it. That what makes them happy watching this vlog. But them watching the vlog ain't going to help them with nothing. Why does it matter? It's gonna help them get through their day. What if somebody, somebody probably at home having a bad day, having a rough ass day, rough day at work, where they went to school, failed a test, and this vlog, they might see this and give them a little happiness for however long this vlog is. That don't matter? That's what you call external slash temporary happiness. Internal happiness happens within. It doesn't happen from a damn vlog, Rich. No, but this, this is the thing though. That's like going to a comedy show. You know it's billionaires that's not happy. Yeah. Well, but what I'm saying though, like that's like going to it's billionaires is not happy is sometimes Elon Musk go through shit just like we do. For sure. Why can he do all this extra shit, fly spaceships and shit? Because he bored. No, because yeah, he wants to feel what happiness. The final goal in life is to be happy and to get closer to God, right, George? Indeed. Are you a philosopher or something? This life that we in right now is just a stimulation. If you notice, people die every day, but do you care? No. So let me ask you, $5 million or, damn, what was the question? It's some, how that shit go, John? It's some shit like $5 million or a dinner with DDG. No. <laughs> I'm taking a dinner, bro. <laughs> he said you're taking a dinner. Taking a dinner. <laughs> Man, listen. Steak and lobster, nigga. I got you. Would you rather... Would you rather... Damn, I can't remember how that shit go. It's some shit like... It's like... Save a... Save a random person or get $5 million. If you get the $5 million, a random person in the world die. One person just die. I take the $5 million. Random person, you said random. Don't try to say, what if it's your family? No, no, just a right. random person. It's like it's like the lotto. I'm taking it immediately. So, <laughs> so, so imagine you take that, <laughs> you take that money, and that random person happened to be George. Yeah, what a random. So you can't say that. No, it's it can't. Random person. Yes. It's somebody yeah, that he's I not know. a random person. He knows a person. person. I know him. I'm, I'm saying talking about a random person, as in like right. that nigga in the car over there, like. Random nigga. I don't care if he dies. That's the truth. I don't care if the person in front of us driving dies. Doesn't matter. Cause everybody got their day. Everybody gonna die. Indeed. Literally, you're gonna die one day, Rich. You know how many people die a day anyway? So I'm taking a five million too. I'm taking a five million, nigga. So I can live better, nigga. I'm gonna die too. Shit. Right. What you doing, son? I'm taking a five. I'm taking a five. Cause guess what? Somebody that don't know me and I die, they taking that five million too. He ain't lying. He, him right there. That that nigga right there just said it, yep. That's fucked up. Hey. That's fucked up, man. What are you doing? I'm taking that file. <laughs> <laughs> like you had all your shit together. I'm like, man, I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> 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 you got the clothes, Bro, no glaze and shit. This nigga shit big as hell. My nigga, what's good? What's up? What's the word? What's up, bro? Shit, man. Hey, man, let me tell y'all something, bro. 
me and this nigga I always see each other. When I first moved to LA, nigga threw me some keys to the beam and shit here, like little nigga. Like come here in my video. Hey, real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you something though. As a as an artist coming up, you know what I'm saying, you know, signed to another artist and everything, yo, what advice could you give me to like, you know what I'm saying? Like do I need to drop more, be more consistent? Like what what you think? Like talk to me. I say consistency is definitely key. Making sure you stand out and putting like your soul into that shit. Cause when you put your all into your music, people feel that shit. And, and that connection with your fans, once you create an unbreakable bond with your fans, that's how you get a core fan base. Yeah. Like somebody who gonna rock with you no matter what you going through. So that's what I say is the most important thing when you fresh start now. So man, being signed to an artist, do you feel like that was a bad thing to do? Or like, how you, how you feel about that? Like an artist signing to another artist? It really depends on your mindset, like how you plan on leveraging it. Like, cause signing to an artist over a label, you would be more connected when you were an artist sometimes, cause they'll be able to put you in position better. And you would be able to use that connection and, uh, and just shoot yourself up to the top, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's what I did. I tell you, I tell y'all all the time, man. I feel like when you're in a position to do that, man, you I feel like you get their network off the off the back type shit. You know what I'm saying? And it worked like that. Yeah, yeah. Man, how long you live here, nigga? This shit crazy, nigga. I ain't even gonna lie. Listen, bro, yo, I got a, I got a nice size crib. You know what I'm saying? I got a penthouse type shit. Yeah. Not gonna lie, just an in part back there probably the size of my whole crib, bro. <laughs> hey, my nigga, like I'm on some like damn. Like, no lie, shit like this made me realize I ain't working hard enough. You got a studio on here? No, I got a studio at my other crib. I got another house, like, around the corner from here. So, this like your family crib, and this the, the other crib, like, the... Yeah, that's my studio crib. Your dining room, my man's crib, bro. Hey, bro, I just told that nigga, bro. <laughs> if I, I got a nice size crib, that's the crazy part. Hey, bro, man, look. It's levels, bro. We gonna get bro. there. I told him, I feel like I ain't working hard enough, we man. We gonna get there, man. We gonna get there, for sure. I ain't lying. You, you might record at the crib or you like go to the studio? Nah, I'm still getting it. Like I got some Osberger uh, speakers that I just need to get installed. That's the last thing. They just finished my shit. My shit was nice too. Oh. Nah, I feel like I, get, I do the best shit when I'm at the crib. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, for sure. First, the, first the I studio. used to um, record in my, like a room in my house. Yeah. And I recorded a lot of like fire verses. Like uh, I got this song called Book Bag with K Beezy. I did the verse on there. I got a uh, this uh, song called "When You Down" with Lil Tech and Lil Dirt. I recorded the verse there. I recorded Three Headed Goat verse there. I wrote Epidemic there. And these like all some of my biggest songs. That went crazy. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna lie. That's how I feel. Like some of my biggest songs, literally like at the crib, late night, 2 a.m. type shit. Where I'm just like. You know what I'm saying? Cause when I go to the studio, sometimes the vibes just don't feel right. Sometimes I feel like I'm forcing it, or it's like it's too much pressure. But at the house, I feel like more relaxed type shit. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Type shit. shit. Niggas really got kids out this bitch, bro. Bro, am I like behind type shit? This nigga older. This nigga like. Bro, not the same. I don't know, I can have no kid, but I just can't. I don't got no problem having a kid. It's just finding the right person to have a kid with. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the whole time. Feel me. But to be like that, bro, it's just not about that. It's about the end of the day, bro. The day gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, the motherfucking day gonna end, my nigga. Yeah, bro. I ain't, man. Like, like, what do that actually mean? Shit, man. At the end of the day, you gotta go to sleep type shit, man. Like, shit, like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, the day gotta end. Yeah. At the end of the day. For real. That's the deepest shit you ever said. Bro, that shit man. crazy. Deepest shit I ever <laughs> 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 a blessing though, bro. Like, I feel like you should just one day just go to the club, bro. Find you one and just do it. I think I think probably the grocery store might be better. I ain't gonna lie, cause a, a girl at a grocery store that you know she, you know she take care of herself. She gonna cook and shit. So come on, now. I feel like you go like a Whole Foods around like 10 a.m. On a Wednesday, no, Tuesday? Go, I go 9 a.m. Cause you go 9 a.m. That mean they waking up, they on that shit. Type you know shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cooking breakfast and shit. Yeah, they probably like one Then they be in their gym clothes cause they just live. 24 yeah. hour fitness type shit. Yeah, type shit. Type shit. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. Appreciate it, my nigga. Alright, <laughs> right. right, y'all, man. 
we just now leaving Polo G crib. Um, I'm finna head back to get my car, and I got my friend flying in. And uh, yeah. Man, why you why you take your glasses off, bro? Cause I know where I'm going now. Cause I can see. I know where I'm going. You trying to look cute for my camera, bro? What you take your glasses off for, bro? I ain't trying to look cute for nobody but Miss Tanya, nigga. You took off your glasses, bro. Nigga had his glasses on this whole time. As soon as I press record, nigga gonna take them off and shit. <laughs> Licking his lips, old freaky ass nigga. What's wrong with you, bro? Bro, I'm saying, man. I know where I'm going. I ain't gotta wear my glasses and look at my phone and shit. What you mean, who, bro? Who coming in out of town though? You say your friend. Your yeah, friend. I got, who? I got a friend coming in from out of town. Who, your own boy. Nah, I got a friend coming in from out of town. I'm saying what you coming out of town for? Just, hey. How long is you gonna be here for? You got her a two, I mean, a one way or a two way? <laughs> bro, why you hollering my shit, bro? I'm saying though, what type of friend she is. Just, she a friend, my nigga. She a friend with benefits? Man, she a friend, big bro. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Gonna kick it. She gonna come, Damn. kick it, and do what? How long is she gonna be here for? I don't know, she got a one way. She got her one way or you got her one way? Bruh, I got her one way. So the fuck what? Okay, yes, I got her one way, okay? Why you got her one way? Oh, all depends on her vibe. You gonna be like, um... All right, you gotta go. No, no, no. I mean, you just, like, you never know, like, what the vibes is. Sometimes you just want to come, just see, like, you know what I'm saying? So basically, if the vibe, if the vibe right. cool, then, like, yeah, you stay for a couple days. But if it's just, like, you know, she probably got work the next day or this and that, or I end up having to do something, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like, you know. But this is what I'm saying, though. What's up? Terry. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, though, like, She'll know in advance how long she'll stay if you know what I'm saying? Like how long ago she knew before you say, All right, I'm about to fly you out. No, nah, she was supposed to, she was supposed to come last week, but Oh, it's a spare of the moment. No, nah, she was supposed to come last week, but uh she missed her flight. Damn, so you had to pay for another flight? No, nah, I had the credit. Oh. Yeah. Damn, I'm not saying. Like she missed a flight, and the last flight was just, it was just like super late. So I, I was like, man, you might just come another day. Hold on, because she had to come late, you made her come another day because it. Nah, because she would have landed around like like 11 a.m. I mean 11 p.m. type shit. I mean, I she really... comes straight to your bed. What you on, bro? I told you this a friend, bro. Oh, oh, my, my bad. Come on, man. What's what's so so? You telling me just because a girl flew out, we gotta have sexual intercourse? That was you telling me? And you paid for it? Hey, bro. Listen, I'm a gentleman, okay? I got hospitality, okay? I don't mind paying Why for stuff. Why are you stuff. lying to your, your peoples, man? How am I lying to my people? You said you're a gentleman. Yes. Man, that, uh, 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 a friend can't even speak to none of your friends without you cussing their ass out. <laughs> no, no, wait. <laughs> Relax, okay? Relax. All right. Moo can't if say, I... hey, how you doing? Bitch! <laughs> 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 Who are you talking to? <laughs> you will say shit to them niggas, you my friend! <laughs> hey, dog, no, listen! Listen, I'm talking about choke a bitch out, dog! <laughs> bitch, what the fuck you say? What you say? How you fool? <laughs> I'm talking about go crack. I wish Bro. you would say something to the shape DDG. I wish you would. They can't say a damn thing. Man, listen, bro. Friend, bro. Oh but my that's god. Your friend, though. But that's, that's so funny, bro. <laughs> that's the funny, bro. That shit. <laughs> bro, it's some niggas, bro. It's some niggas really be like that, you be know, you crazy. Like, that, like nigga, like she, uh, like that's your big sister. I mean, little sister, some shit, dog. Man, that shit be crazy, bro. Why they can't kick it with your homie like that, though? No, nah, cause it, let me tell y'all something. Please, All right. please, yeah. Tell us. Talk Listen. To me too. Your, your. Your significant other friends are not your friends. And saying to to my ladies, listen. Mm, your significant your, other your, is your, right. your, your, the dude you talk to, his friends is not your friends, okay? Why are you even speaking to them? All right, okay, be nice. The most you should say really is hi and bye. Honestly, ain't nothing else to talk about. You know? Really? Dead ass. All right, but like this, like for instance, um, this just all right. Like you and move y'all niggas tight, right? Uh huh. Would you get mad? Like some niggas get mad because move get cooler, more cooler to your friends than he is with you. Like what would, you mean? What you mean? Like for instance, me and you cool, right? Yeah. But you know move before you knew me. 
And then man uh, Woo get cool uh, You would get mad as hell Because man boy got cool Nah I'm, Okay I'm confused Okay Is it a situation like 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 me and Derek Yeah Okay Cause listen If y'all don't know him Right I was close I I was cool with Derek first And I brought Derek around And now uh, I introduced Derek and Dub Now Derek and Dub Is closer To each other than Derek and me is right. No, that don't bother me. I that don't. don't no, me. that don't bother but me. But man, I know some niggas get pissed. Like, but they have they they don't say it, but they be pissed. Like, damn. Like this nigga took my friend away from me. If it wasn't me, they wouldn't even know each other type shit and be mad as fuck. But the difference between y'all, you and them, y'all all hang around though. Y'all still kick it, even though they kick it more with each other than they do with you. Yeah, I mean that don't that don't bother me, man. But when I'm it comes a, to a female, it's over. No, when it comes to feel, like I said, if it's a girl, I'm if it's a girl, I'm really feeling. Like if you feeling her, yeah, if I'm different. feeling her. She can't like I ain't. I know she can't. This is one thing about me. I never tell a girl what she can't do. Okay, I just sit back and watch and see what she rather choose to do. Okay, because the thing is, hey man, I said this in my last vlog. Okay, if somebody's left-handed, mm -hmm. okay, and you try to get them right with their right hand, uh -huh. they gonna do it just because they like you. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you turn your back. Gonna they gonna go right back to their left hand. You know what I'm saying? Because you, got, you words, can't change people who they are. In other words, yeah, break it down. Because you can't do what? You can't change people for who they really are. So that's how I feel. So talk about people who really who they really are. Nigga, who, <laughs> who are you, big bro? What you mean? All right, y'all. I'm back at the house. Gonna go in and edit. But listen, I want to tell y'all some motivational quotes all right man not quotes but basically man i just want to tell y'all bro listen go get it all right go work hard go get that money go get that job every day try to make some money okay because at the end of the day that's what keeps the world going in circles that's what keeps everything going in your life all right work hard the party's always gonna be there the girl's always gonna be there the guy's always gonna be there just work you know what i'm saying get that money man go do something with your life and be somebody all right don't just sit at home watching tv all day lazy and everything else because little did y'all know i had two jobs and i was in college so when i got down with college when i got down with my classes i used to go to my job and when i got down with my job I used to go to the studio, then I used to have to wake back up earlier for another job and do it all over again, man. And because sometimes you got to do what you don't want to do so you can do what you want to do. And I just want to like really just lay that to y'all, man, because you never know if you really put your all into something, how that can change your life. A lot of people have hidden talents that they don't utilize and you don't even know that hidden talent is really what could change everything for you like your whole dynamic but hey that's just a little motivation i wanted to give y'all though man but like comment subscribe turn on your post notifications and i'll see y'all next video